Hello folks, Dave Schoke here with the Twin Home Experts. Another episode of our rain leak detection here in Manhattan Beach. So let's get right to it. So here we are on a rain leak detection coming from the outside into this breakfast nook here. Six years, our clients, homeowners, have been trying to find this leak. They've had patio deck guys, roofers, door companies, all of these experts come in and try to fix this, find it. No one's been successful. So first step, what we're going to do is, and as you can see, we've isolated the area with the zipper door. Come on in and let me show you what we've done to expose everything. All right, folks, so I've inside the containment, as you can see, we've opened up the ceiling. This is always highly recommended. It takes all the assumptions out of the equation. It gives you complete visibility inside the wood substrates and it gives you indications and signs as to where the water's traveling. I'm gonna give you a good example of this. If you could see here, this area, all through here has got signs of water intrusion. And as you come a little further to the right, it starts to get cleaner. So what does that tell you? It tells us that the leak is a little bit more concentrated in this area and the path is spreading a little bit over here. So we're gonna focus a little bit more on this side. And so let's go upstairs above this area and I'll show you what we've done. All right, folks, so as you can see here, completely filled this deck up. We call this our hydrostatic water test. What we're doing is we're just testing to make sure that the decking material has not compromised we like to keep this hydrostatic test for a good half hour to 40 minutes. We've got about, about an inch of water on top of this. The other thing we like doing when we're running these hydrostatic water tests is we use some plumber's putty. As you can see, we've packed it into here. Again, what this is doing is it's separating the deck to the threshold. So again, we're focusing right now just on the deck material. What we've used over here is some black tape to block the drains. So again, we're a good, good 30 to 40 minutes. Then what we'll do is we'll release this water and then we'll work at the threshold, the weep screed, and work our way up. We'll get back to you here as to what our findings are. All right, folks, now that we've confirmed that the decking material is in perfect shape and not leaking, now what we've done is we've drained the patio. We're gonna go ahead now and remove our putty from underneath the threshold. All right, so now we're ready to use our hydrostatic jetting water tip to get right into these areas here and see if that's the cause. All right, folks, you can see the type of tip that we're using. It's a jetted, small, streamlined tip. And what's good about this is that we're able to really pinpoint the areas that we want to inject the water. Move, Move the tip closer. You could see the water dripping in the exact same spot. Better idea, this area here underneath the threshold is the issue, this whole corner. So let's go inside to the interior and let's take a look at what how this door was installed. All right folks, what we have is, this is a classic retrofit installed door, which is not the right installation for this, this home. 
Uh, this had an existing wood door and wood threshold that was left in place. And the contractor put a retrofit, a, a retrofit door in here, a block frame with no flans, no way to seal the water against water. And this is where the water intrusion is coming from. Yeah, I'm sure that if we run water all the way around this door, it's going to leak all the way around. So the, the right installation for this project would have been to take everything out, break the stucco back, put in a nail fin door, reestablish a moisture barrier, restucco, repaint, and then you have a job that's guaranteed not to leak. All right, folks, well, there you have it. Hopefully this gave you the insight on how to pinpoint where that leak is. And as always, thanks for watching. Make sure you give us thumbs up and hit that subscribe button.